Well, hello guys, and welcome back to Pick a Card with Loki. As always, take this or any other pick a card you get on the internet with a massive grain of salt if you want to ask clarifying questions to say, it was not really so, Loki, go ahead, you're not going to hurt our feelings. You want to watch this just for entertainment? That's fine. As always, we have our three decks. We have the daily, um, we have the, um, Angels of Abundance. <laughs> I knew I would finally forget that. Angels of Abundance is going to be your Abundance deck, so that is deck one. We typically do a top and bottom card, though we can do more or less, depending on what the deity says. Um, your second deck is going to be your Daily Guidance deck, so just what it says. If you have to put this in Loki Ease or Pagan Ease, go ahead. And our third deck is going to be, and it's almost falling apart here, is going to be the Jennifer Sands deck. This is a deck that if you think this is all nonsense and you only go to a fortune teller at a carnival for fun, that is the deck you want. So let's begin with deck one. I'm getting, yeah! So deck one, your top card is going to be raise or promotion. Okay, so we really do mix these, but you know, a lot of people have a raise or promotion to look forward to. Um, congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on divine guidance. Keep up the good work. I'm also getting that this might not be a literal razor promotion, but something good is coming your way. So if it's not a literal one, if you're like, hey, I'm not due for promotion for ever, um, it might be something else that's coming to you. I'm getting, I'm getting a nod. And bottom. I'm getting yeah, <laughs> and um, you know he might want me to to stay on this deck for a second, but let's see. Um, moonlighting. So this actually ties in with that razor promotion. So this might be how that manifests for you. Uh, you can start working on your dream career part time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. So if there is something you've always wanted to do. If you always wanted to teach people how to do art, or you always wanted to bake, or you always wanted to do something else, it's fully okay to fit that in, to do it part-time, maybe start doing it once a month or something, and then, you know, as you make connections, that might start taking off, and you might start making better money than you are now. Obviously, look into something like this, research it, see if it's feasible, but, you know, um... There are a lot of people who were lawyers and went off to become bakers and things like that. So it's totally possible that whatever it is that you're thinking of doing, Loki's going, go ahead, you know, start moonlighting. Start, you know, that's that's kind of a thing of, you know, go ahead, start doing it on the side. Even if you start doing it for free, like you bake at a charity or you do something like that. Get your foot in the door at least. See how you like it. See if you like the reality of it. Okay, I'm getting very good. So deck two, our top is going to be... Did you want the second? Okay. Um, Release and surrender. This is deck two. So you're going to get... We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assurance. I'm getting this, this, this. So, you know, if we're holding on to our problems with a deaf grip and we won't let go of them, Loki can't take care of them. He's often told me, I can't fix it while you're holding it. It's like having a, a teddy bear when we were a kid and it gets torn and we want our parent to fix it, but we want to hold on to it. And, you know, it, it helps if we let go of the teddy bear so they can fix it. Because we're usually holding it at the wrong angle. And even if we weren't, um, we have to let go. We have to let go so he can fix it. I know it's scary because it's like you, like when you were a kid, you were like, I'll never see Teddy again or Teddy will get hurt or something. It's okay. Let go of it. And as Loki's taking care of your problem, he'll hold you at the same time. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting bottom, please. So bottom of the deck is going to be... Play! So this is a perfect one to give from Loki. I think a lot of us need this right now. Um, beloved one, it is time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we'll oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Uh, now, just wait a second. Um, this doesn't mean don't go into work ever again and Loki will show up in moonlight for you. Um, I got exactly. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy. 
so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Aha, the card's kind of doing a Loki sneaky sneak. It's okay to take a break. It's okay, you know, a lot of workplaces even tell you you have to take the breaks by law. You too, they can't, like, just... I know there are a lot of bad places. They can't, not supposed to just work you without a break. Take that break. Take 15 minutes to go... You know, if you're working in a place that has a place to go play and blow off steam, go do that. Take 15 minutes to play on your phone. Take, you know, time to go outside. Take whatever kind of of break you need. I'll take a coffee break here because we've actually been filming tons of videos today. And the important thing is to play. But, you know, as Loki was pointing out, he's like, hey, and this card just kind of did a Loki sneak. Um, Go play. It's okay, go play, go take the time off to play. But I think a better way to term it would be you yourself have the responsibility to go play. Don't be afraid to go play because you might think like, oh, if I went and played, I'd never come back. You will, you will. Just give yourself five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you have. If you're lucky, an hour, whatever, a couple of days if you have it. Go play, you will come back, you will. You will, the completionist and you, even if you don't think it's there, will come back and finish your, finish your um, duties. So, your third and final deck is the Jennifer Sands deck, and your first card is Life's Journey. So, top card is Life's Journey. Moderation and Harmony. <sighs> okay, um, <laughs> you, you, you will figure out why I just did a double take. Strive for balance in your life and emotions. Avoid extremes, promotion, success after elimination of previous errors balance so you're going to have to one did you have you been doing something wrong it's kind of like i'm reading this novel where this woman knits it's like one of the things and she's knitting a sweater and she noticed a mistake and she just figured it would work itself out and <laughs> it didn't and she had to go back and unravel like parts of the sweater um i'm getting that that exactly sometimes we have to go back through our work and go oh Oh God, no. And undo a huge amount of her work to work back to the mistake and then then we can we can go forward. And moderation harmony, you know, just strive for balance in your life and emotions. So this is a little different. It'll make sense. It, um you want to have balance between, you know, your life, you know, how are you living your life and your emotions? We, you guys know, you have to keep emotional balance. You don't have to shut your emotions down and not feel anything, but you don't want to feel every emotion to the intensity that, you know, it's starting to interfere with your ability to hold down a job or, you know, interact with your family. Got very good back here. And your bottom card is going to be love. <laughs> um, Fantasies of romance or desires, daydreams. Be realistic. <laughs> oh my. Dreams forming. So your dreams are forming, but be realistic in those dreams. Um, okay, I'm going to say something and I'm not calling people out here. In paganism, witchcraft, heathenry, uh, I've even seen it happen in Christianity. There is this idea, guys, that there are tons of romance novels out there with our gods in it. You know it. You've probably read them. And I'm talking about actual novels. You can buy in a bookstore, not just, you know, something on fanfiction.net. I got ooh, savage. And the god comes down in a human form, and the god's always rich and drop-dead gorgeous, and the god falls for this human and just whisks them away to a life of zero responsibilities. No bills, no sickness no anything just a fantasy of passion and romance and you know forever doing the ideal thing oh my dears even if you do cohabitate with a god on whatever level you will still be unless you are independently wealthy scrubbing your own toilets and washing your own dishes i got yep so you know do do reach for romance it's wonderful if that's what you're comfortable with with a deity if it's a loki in this case or if it's a human, you know, keep keep it in mind. A lot of people get the idea that Mr. or Mrs. or whatever pronoun they choose is going to come along and be fantabulously wealthy. And, you know, they don't come along, but Steve comes along. And Steve's actually a great guy. And Steve's kind of funny, but Steve takes you to McDonald's. 
and to the youth store and that's that's it and you know steve maybe works you know decent job but steve's not fantabulously wealthy and isn't going to take you all these exotic locales and steve's actually the great catch but you're you're caught up in you know fantabulously wealthy um you know not that wrong with dreaming or having fantasies but you know um just just kind of reality check yourself every once in a while you guys know that but sometimes people don't either so we hope you guys have enjoyed this if you just took it as entertainment that's fine always 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 double check anything you get on the internet ask lucky for a sign and you know go from there so if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe and we'll see you later Bye bye